My name is Mia Ando, and I am an artist that works with primarily light and metals. My family in Japan were swordsmiths before they became Buddhist priests. I grew up hearing about swords that the Ando family had made. So there has always been a connection of the sword making craft. Because I'm half Japanese and, and half Caucasian, I was raised bilingually, I was raised in two totally different worlds. My interest really is in finding vocabulary that is universal. So I use a lot of light, I use a lot of vernacular that is inspired by natures. The new works are about sort of capturing light, making a surface of this aluminum works reflective, but then dyeing it black. So it's black and reflective. And we're still discussing light. Avant-garde means to me a departure from that which is established and to express your personal truth. I think if one gets to one's own truth, is so truthful, it's different and it's new and therefore pioneering. I consider Sogetsu very avant-garde. Sogetsu is the flower arrangement style that really spread internationally. Until the 1920s, when Sogetsu came to being, the floral arrangements were very proscribed, the rules. It had to be a certain size and with certain flowers and in a certain place in your house even. But they changed all of the rules that had been established and they were very pioneering in opening the art form to any materials and to any persons and in any space. Some of my earliest memories when I was a little girl was going to Sogetsu lessons with my mother and my sister. And I remember everyone would make something that was unique to them. And I just thought that was totally delightful. The open-minded philosophy of Sogetsu it has been impactful in my approach to materials. For example, I see aluminum as something to dye or steel as something that can look like a cloud. It's really that open-mindedness that has influenced me.